the relationship between scholarly models has always been very complicated and extremely ambiguous. If you were in charge of the writing of the future of those two characters, where would you go? Well, you know what's interesting is, is I think that uh, Scully and Mulder's relationship hasn't been ambiguous at all. I think it's been, you know, as the, the, the audience has got to see uh, over the years how, you know, every single intimate moment that they, almost every single intimate moment that they, <laughs> that they share and, and, um, and, and it developed, you know, in, in front of the audience's eyes. So I don't, I don't feel necessarily that it's ambiguous. As we find them today in the tenth season, it feels ambiguous because you can't quite tell what's transpired, uh, where they are with each other, uh, uh, etc. But I feel like during during the original series, it was uh, it was actually more straightforward. Uh, and if I were to, you know, uh, um, one thing that I've I've learned over the years is that is that Chris Carter seems to completely understand the pulse of not just what uh, the audience might want to see, also what keeps them guessing. Uh, you know, the, his decision to uh, place them exactly where they are in their relationship, I think, was a really wise one, not just for the structure of the series. But also for the, to, uh, as a as a fresh entry into the show, and um, and uh, he knows better than I, I would ever know. So I, I don't project things onto him. Uh, also, thank you.